Bloom and Grow YouTube show. So what about some of your favorite varieties? So say I'm, I'm so excited for this episode for people to connect, um, of our listeners of Asian American, you know, heritage. Um, but say people might want to try one of your varieties from Kitazawa, like where would you suggest we start? Yeah, I think, you know, one of the great things about Asian vegetables is there's just such a huge diversity. So there's literally something for everyone yeah um from the beginning gardener to you know the more experienced gardener and everything in between um from you know if you're growing on a farm on 50 acres or you just have a little backyard patio or a balcony or even just a window so there really is you know something for everyone i think for a for people who are just starting out um And one of the things that's really easy to get started are Asian herbs. So there are a huge variety of Asian herbs from, you know, bunching onions that you can Mm -hmm. use in pretty much everything. They're really easy to grow. um, And those are, those are really simple to, you know, some, um, you know, Chinese leeks, which are a little bit less simple to grow. Um, And then, you know, Thai basil and all of the different kinds of perilla, uh, there really is just a a great variety of Asian herbs to um, to get started with. Super easy, um, pretty fail safe. um, And talk about the scents, too. I mean, I'm really into scented plants right now. That Asian herb garden would have some amazing scents. Exactly. It's it's really, really wonderful. And it just you know, adds a tons of flavor to, to your cooking. I think we actually have, um, an Asian herb sort of collection of things on our website. Um, but that's one thing that I would recommend to get started, um, is checking out the Asian herbs. Um, and, you know, I think for, some of our more experienced gardeners, you know, you can actually go with the gourds, which are, there's a lot of different varieties of gourds, not just the bitter melon, but the bottle gourds and the wax gourds. Uh, we have a lot of, and a lot of different kinds of gourds. Gourds are definitely a little bit more tricky, but if someone is up for the challenge, they are really fun and wonderful. If you have a, um, If you have the ability to trellis them, you can make these just, they have, they put out lots of foliage and you can trellis them to be able to pick them easily. And they are just also just a really fun um, thing to grow. They do require quite a bit of, they require a bit more space and they also require a long, warm growing season. So um, that can be a little bit tricky, but, you know, we have some tips for people to be able to um, grow them even in northern climates. Um, And then there's the ones that I think are kind of what I would consider big payoff varieties. So you have things like your, you know, peas, which can be, you can eat the shoots, but, you know, and you can have like the snow peas, the snap peas. Um, They're also pretty easy to grow and pretty straightforward. And you kind of get a lot of um, vegetables for your effort. Um, and then, you know, of course, the tomatoes and the cucumbers um, and the peppers uh, are, you know, tr- very, very much like your regular summertime vegetables that, you know, I think are kind of mean summer, but um, are so versatile and you can really and really do a lot with them. And our, you know, Asian peppers, um, again, there's just a lot of different varieties. Oh my gosh. So you yeah. can go from something that just doesn't have a lot of heat to something that's really quite spicy. Um, and, uh, you know, that you can have sort of a a range of things depending on what your spice level is, Mm -hmm. but we, and then, um, yeah. And, you know, if you want something that our Japanese cucumbers are really, really wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. So I, you know, um, and they're also really actually fairly easy to grow. Mm -hmm. Um, and, uh, they need a trellis as well, right? Yeah. Well, they're, yes, they benefit from, 
they benefit from some space. Um, mm-hmm. And especially because they're long, you want to have them be able to um, have enough space to actually grow long and right. long and narrow. Um, but they still taste just as good if they they curl up a little bit, you know. Yeah, totally. To deal with. But um, yeah, so, you know, we have so many things that I feel like can really um, be suitable for um, your, whatever your particular needs are. And we're always happy to give rec- recommendations. So, um, you know, f- from if someone wants to just give us a call, we'd be happy to help figure that out. 